Just a few years ago, we all wanted fitted carpets, but now it seems we're all going for bare floors, whether they're wooden, slate, or marble. And of course, if you've got a bare floor, you need to have a rug. Hello, Fred. So I've come to Turnberry Carpet Crafts on the Ayrshire coast to meet Fred Duckworth, whose company specialises in handmade rugs. Well, Fred, of course, we're here to talk to you about your carpets and the, the business here, but what a fantastic setting. I mean, not many places in Ayrshire have got a, an open swimming pool for a start. Are you ever able to use it? Yes, we are, in the, in the summer especially. But it is heated. There's no way I would go in if it wasn't heated. <laughs> but what a great setting. I mean, it's not bad for a, a factory on the, the seashore. Mm, well, yes, that's true. So how did it come about you started running the business here in your own house? I'd been in a similar carpet business for about 20 years and uh, decided that I would rather have my own business um, aiming at a particular niche market. It, it seems to be a, a, quite a labour-intensive process. We make the carpets vertically. So we stretch a backing material over a frame and then we draw the full size of the, of the rug on the frame. And then we either project a design, if it's a fairly complex design, with an overhead projector, or we use measurements if it's a simple geometric design or templates. And then it's a little bit like painting by numbers in that we fill in the different spaces with different coloured yarns using a handheld gun. This is done from the back, so the pile appears on the other side of the, of the carpet from the, the person holding the gun. And then to hold the tufts in place, we latex it with a, with a big paintbrush. And then a lot of work goes into the surface, into the pile side of the rug, carving and, uh, and finishing. Now I see in the workshop you're, you're actually working on a Charles Rennie Macintosh carpet at the moment. Well, it's becoming more and more popular and uh, all over Europe. I see you've also got a, a, a shag pile uh, rug which you're working on. Um, That's right. That, that was popular in the, <laughs> the 60s and 70s, wasn't it? Is that coming back again? Well, it, nearly all of those go to, to Holland. And we do sell a few here, but uh, and yes, it is coming back. These rugs, of course, are not cheap. In fact, some people would say they're, they're actually quite expensive, wouldn't they? Yes, that's right. The retail price between two and three hundred pounds a square metre. That's, that's a lot, isn't it? It is a lot, but it's a custom-made thing. It's made specifically for you, your size, your combination of colours. How do you feel about um, effectively creating a work of art, which people are simply going to walk over? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but that's the business. Join us after the break when we visit...